our next band coming on to the field, we go to the Great Northwest with Mercer Island High School. It is tradition after each home football game for everyone to head to Seattle to dine on Dick's Burgers and Shakes. And while Dick's is the favorite, a surprising number indicated that In N Out Burger was their favorite fast food of choice. Now, considering that there are no In N Out Burgers in the state of Washington, there will clearly be some happy uh, Mercer Island band students getting their fix while in Pasadena. Speaking of happy, for one in five of the Mercer Island High School Band, the trip to Disneyland to march in their parade will mark the first time ever in the happiest place on earth. When asked what their favorite part of being in the Mercer Island High School Band is, they said the community and sectional bonding, which were overwhelming favorites. So when you're in your section, clarinet section, or whatever, trumpet section, they get together for things. And playing at the post-football game performances are one of their very favorite band-specific activities. 85% of the band volunteers in outside organizations, including National Charity League, National League of Young Men, Boys, Boys and Girls Club, and the National Honor Society. That's what's great about band kids, needless to say. Over the half the kids in marching band plan to play their instrument in college as well. So here's some random facts about the band. Fortnite is the preferred video game. Two thirds, you can't get this information anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. Two thirds of the band owns a pet. A member of the drum line is the great, 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 great nephew of Francis Scott Key, who penned the Star Spangled Banner. Expect. We all know what it took to get your bands here to Pasadena and what is involved in raising funds. But this band took a partnership with Honda Escalar and YME and the band from Puerto Rico. challenges of the BEG band and the impact on the program, the Mercer Island High School Band students set out to do whatever was necessary to ensure this partner, world-class bandmates, and the Tournament of Roses Parade alongside the other bands that were accepted. To, to date, the Mercer Island High School students, the Mercer Island High School students and the Mercer, Mercer Island community have sent instruments, uniform parts, and supplies to Puerto Rico. In addition, they sent over forty thousand dollars. Imagine doing that, whatever school you're from, and you have to raise the money for you guys to get to get here to Pasadena, but then you gave forty thousand dollars to other students in a part of the world most of them hadn't been to get here as well. That is the power of music, ladies and gentlemen. And now under the field direction of Jaslyn Rowland, Spencer Klein, and Brandon Hill, we give you Mercer Adam. Good morning, Ben. 
Lopez. My name is Joe Bryan. I'm the broadcast media teacher and general manager of KMIH 88.9 The Bridge, Mercer Island High School's award-winning, nationally acclaimed high school radio station. Today, you are in for a special treat. The Mercer Island High School Marching Band is so proud to be here to bring the sound of Seattle to Pasadena and the Tournament of Roses. Now, let's take a ride through Seattle's rich music history, shall we? We begin in the 60s when a young man by the name of James Marshall Hendricks left Seattle's Garfield High School and headed for London. When he returned to the States, he brought with him a band appropriately known as The Experience and a never-before guitar sound that set the music world on fire. A time of bell-bottom jeans, new Seattle pro sports teams, and two sisters named Ann and Nancy. The music these girls made was filled with passion, power, and magic. Dreamboat Annie hit the record shelves in the summer of 75, and overnight, the world was crazy on heart. never shined brighter on the Seattle music scene than in the early 90s in Aberdeen, the rainiest, dreariest Washington town of them all. A young Kurt Cobain was living under a bridge and writing a song that would become the anthem of a generation. Suddenly the word grunge was a good thing. But wait a minute. The early 90s Seattle music scene wasn't only about grunge and nirvana. Up on Capitol Hill in Seattle, there was a posse on Broadway doing something completely different. Led by a young producer named Anthony Ray, soon it wasn't only Seattle rock music that was in the mix. What's up, Pasadena? Mix a lot in the house, and you know my people. The Mercer Island High School drum line is about to drop this like hot soup, baby. Here it comes. I like, I like, I like, I like me.
How about the big hand for the pride of the island, the Mercer Island High School marching band? And to this very day, Seattle still finds itself in the center of the musical universe. The sound of Seattle continues to pump out the hits and serve as the soundtrack for the world. Yes, the sound of Seattle and the Mercer Island High Marching Band can't be held back. Mercer Island, 